That was an absolutely massive win for United. 1-0 against a very, very good Leicester team who controlled large parts of that game, but we came out with the three points. Marcus Rashford burying the penalty, burying the penalty hoodoo. That's now in the past. And United coming away with three points today was not something I expected. My prediction for the game was a one-all draw, and it nearly happened, but United's defence stood firm towards the end. Victor Lindelof in particular being in the right place at the right time to make a few key clearances. And one thing I really want to point out in that game was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's substitutions and how I feel they changed that game. But the first half, United, like we do in most games, we started strong and we made it count. It was certainly a penalty and Rashford made no mistake. That's going to mean a lot to him because there's a lot of pressure on Rashford's shoulders this year to take the goal scoring mantle for United because we've let Lukaku go, we've let Sanchez go and Rashford buried the penalty. Wasn't his best performance, wasn't anywhere near a vintage performance from United in some regards, but in other regards it was. Now one thing I was worried about coming into that second half because we've had a 1-0 lead and we've lost it multiple times this season. I was worried about United just sitting deeper and deeper and deeper, Leicester pushing further up and eventually getting the equaliser. That's what I thought would happen. But the thing that was different in this game, I think, from Solskjaer, he took Matic off for Fred after about 65 minutes. And he took Mata off for Chong. And those two substitutions allowed United to re-implement the high press towards the last 25 minutes of the game, where normally we lose it. Because I don't think the players are quite fit enough to play this system that Solskjaer wants. But his subs allowed him to continue that towards the end of the second half, where United normally tire, Chong came in, made a big difference up front. Fred came in, he made a big difference in comparison to the lethargic Matic who rarely fucking moves. I'm happy with those subs because I think they were crucial for United getting three points today. Now, in another game, Leicester would have scored one or two, but so would United. Rashford hitting the bar with a cracking free kick, but Madison was dangerous all game long. Vardy, his runs in behind were dangerous. And Maguire, a massive game for him, kept a clean sheet. That's big. United in our two biggest games this season, against Chelsea and against Leicester, we've won and we've won to clean sheets. Now that is because I feel, as I said, United, when we play that low block, we play teams like Palace and Wolves sometimes. I think Wolves in the first half, certainly. They operate on that low block and United don't have the quality to break it down. When Leicester play higher up, it creates spaces in behind. Now United certainly are, we are lacking in that quality and I think that's, that allowed Leicester to get back into the game because too often we had the ball on the other, edge of our own box, sorry, and we couldn't come out with it. We had to just kick it long and hope that Dan James chased the ball down. Sometimes he did, sometimes he didn't, but he looked knackered when he came off. Another fantastic game for Dan James. For me, man of the match, though, was Scott McTominay in the middle of the park. He was a bulldog the whole game. So was Andreas Pereira on the right wing, to be fair. We operated that high press for the first 20 minutes, and Leicester couldn't really cope with that pressure, and we got the goal. What I want to see from United moving on is getting that second goal, because we're a nervy 1-0 team. I didn't think we were going to win that 1-0. We held out in the end, and that's a big boost, because that showed that we can do it. And hopefully that will be a sort of morale boost for the whole team and for the fans as well. Because we went into it without Pogba, without Martial. We'd hopefully, we had wan and we did have wan But so many injuries and people were saying up against the Leicester team, me too, saying, we're screwed. We came away with three points. And as I said there, McTominay, man of the match for me, in the middle. Everybody's saying that we didn't replace Ander Herrera this summer. We did, internally. McTominay is the new Herrera, if you want to say that. He was tireless. And that little bit of shithousery towards the end there, last 30 seconds of normal, no, extra time, sorry, he runs it into the corner. Instead of passing it, he took it upon himself and he ran it into the corner, got a shithousery foul, killed the clock, United win 1-0. A very Jose Mourinho type move and you can see why Mourinho liked McTominay. He is probably the best midfielder on form that we've got at this club. Pop has got to up his game to go alongside him. United lack the quality overall. We know that. We knew that going into this season. And for this season to be a success, players like Rashford have to take it upon themselves. Players that weren't as good last season like McTominay need to improve. And in some respects, we are doing it. But to keep the clean sheet is a massive, massive thing for United today. 
especially against the Leicester side who went in banging form, two wins, third in the Premier League table. Or they fourth? Anyway, top four they were. And United beat them 1-0. Nobody expected United to do that. We were evens to beat Leicester at home. That's madness for United. But we did it. We can now sort of ignore the international break. Ignore what happened before that because it was a lot of frustration going into that international break, sorry. And it's, it sort of continued because we had the injuries. But we got three points. Rashford buried his penalty. Goodbye, that penalty hoodoo. Looking forward to seeing Pogba coming back into the team, seeing what happens. But that win today is a big tick for United because we kept the clean sheet, because we beat a very good Leicester team and we held on to that lead. Three major, major positives for me. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. For me, man of the match, absolutely McTominay. But Maguire and Lindelof, I think they played quite well too. Let me know what you think about that, but three points. Goodbye the international break. Bring on football in September.